Hi, my name is Crypto Nerd, and in this video, I'll be going through what's happened in the last 24 hours. Um, before we get started, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Currently sitting at 84 subscribers, I'm hoping to hit the 100 mark in the next couple of days. Um, so please go ahead and click like and subscribe. The last 24 hours has been an absolute bloodbath in crypto. Um, we've seen Terra drop almost 50% from um, Terra USD, the stable, supposedly meant to be a stable coin. Um, so it should be trading at $1. So one Terra USD was worth 0.68 dollars yesterday. This is because Terra um, Luna had to sell a lot of their Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, we've seen a 50% drop in uh, this supposedly called stable coin. We've seen a number of liquidations in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin, 355 million. Ethereum, 326 million. Luna, 100 million. Solana, 24 million. Apecoin, 16 million. GMT. So yeah, it's just been an absolute bloodbath. Um, analysts are predicting that we're going to hit the 24K mark for Bitcoin. Uh, it's, it's a possible scenario now. We touched 29K um, briefly yesterday evening. Um, but yeah, it's just, just zooming out, it's worth noting that in 2014, like sometimes these articles are exaggerated. So Bitcoin falls below $300 and 3,000 now 30,000. So obviously people have to um, make the news as they go along. Uh, it says Bitcoin briefly dips below 30, uh, 30 grand, dropping almost 56% from its all time high, 20% um, before. So yeah, th this is normal in today's market. Um, so yeah, Terra Luna, as, as I said, is the big, big update. Like in just in one day, you can see that massive drop. Uh, market cap got decapitated. Luna also dropped 50, more than 50% from $60 to $24. $24. So yeah, it's not looking good, should we be honest. Um, but just zooming out for a moment, the Bitcoin yearly EOs in 2012, if you if you were uh, if you were lucky enough or uh, smart enough to purchase it, then it was four dollars. In 2022, it's twenty nine thousand, so it's almost like a twenty thousand percent increase. So it's always important to zoom out um, and look at the wider picture. Although the current market sentiment isn't great, if I'm being hundred percent honest. Um, Sandy, the Polygon founder, also said the same thing. It's, it's, it's key to look at adoption, I think. I mean, if you look at coins like Polygon, uh, Veracity, and other coins that would have strong adoption, um, you can see yesterday Polygon announced a, an agreement with Meta to launch um, Web3. And you can just see the adoption in April, 2.5 million users, um, unique users up 8%, transactions up 11%, uh, transactions daily average up 3%. So yeah, you can you can see that um, Polygon's always growing. Um, so zoom out once in a while, and you'll be you'll see. Um, at the moment, the fear to uh, greed ratio we're sitting at extreme fear at ten. Uh, let me know your comments in below what you think Bitcoin will touch. I do think it will go lower myself. Um, I did advocate selling a couple of uh, months ago, and I still think that if you sold then, you could have bought at a cheaper price. Um, buying the dip. Like I did this with stocks last year and I just kept buying the dip. Um, so, yeah, I think sometimes it's better to reduce your position. Um, Terra Luna, as I said to you, as an example, is down 50% from April's all-time high. So if you had sold in uh, April, you could have bought it again at half price. So, yeah. And just to give you an example, it's trading at $61 and then it went down to 24 So more than 50%, 60% approximately. Um, yeah, and it's just poor market sentiment out there everyone's like on the recent bitcoin correction the lunar foundation sold 52,189 bitcoin that probably explains why the price dropped as you can see there straight down their balance sheet um they were buying the dip and then yep it's not looking good um currently bitcoin's trading around 31,000 um let me just take a look 31,404. Let me know your comments below um, where you think we're going to go with Bitcoin. I do think it will drop lower. Uh, I think you, the US have to announce their inflation numbers for April still. As I said, the Bank of England are predicting inflation is going to go up in the UK. So the sentiment around Bitcoin isn't um, and cryptocurrencies in general is not that great right now. Um, I haven't bought a dip yet myself. I'm a bit anxious um, at these prices. I do hope it dips further so I can open up an entry eventually. But yeah, um, let me know your comments below. Um, go ahead and hit, hit the like and subscribe button um, for more great content. Thank you for watching.